In a previous episode, I showed you how to set up the Android Timber framework so you can use that instead of the Android.log framework for logging. Now today, I'm going to show you how to clean up your application classes a little bit better by using build variants to set up Timber. So this is the default application that we created before. We're using a, a build constant, the debug constant in fact, to check whether we are in the debug environment or we are in any other environment. So we're assuming it's just release. Let's get a little bit more diligent about making sure we're using the correct Timber tree at the correct time. The best way I like to do this is set up different build variants. Now, you can get an in-depth dive into build variants on the previous episodes on caster.io by watching the build variant series. Now, let's go ahead and create a couple build variants, a debug one and a release one, to load the correct tree at the correct time instead of performing it in the root application. First thing we'll need to do is create a debug folder inside of the SRC folder. Inside of there, we're gonna go ahead and create a Java folder. And then we need to create a package inside of this folder that matches the same package name that the application currently has, which is io.caster.timberdemo. Inside of here, I'm going ahead and just move the timber demo application file into here. And now that it's in the debug build variant, I'm going to go ahead and delete anything that's not debug related. Now I'm going to get rid of the if statement because we don't need it anymore. We're inside of the debug environment already, so I don't need to check to see if I am in debug already because the build variant does specify that. Now, let's go ahead and change over to release and create the release build variant. Go to release, and then we're gonna go down again to SRC, create a release folder. Then we're gonna create a Java folder inside of that. And then what we'll do inside of there is we will create a io.caster.timber demo again. And inside of the timber demo, I'm going to copy the previous debug demo application and put it inside of here. Now, I am going to have to change a couple of things. I'm going to get rid of the timber.plant that we had there. But this time, I'm going to plant the new release tree. Because remember, we're in the release build variant. So anything that is built with release in mind is going to be this application. Now, in a real typical scenario, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have an application that performs some type of initialization. Maybe you're setting up Dagger. Maybe you're setting up some other type of frameworks inside of your application. Uh, and you might have a root application in here that's abstract, and you may implement it in the concrete classes inside of the release or debug build variant. Now, back to the release build variant. Inside of here, we're going to be using the release tree. So remember, when the release tree gets used, we're only logging warnings, errors, and WTF. What a terrible failures inside of the log. So everything else will be ignored. Now inside of the debug one, so let's go back to debug. We're going to be logging everything and we're going to be adding the line number to help us with debugging. Let's take a step back to release now. Inside of release, you notice that we're, we are using the release tree here. Now the release tree is only used in the release build variant. So let's go ahead and move that into that build variant since we don't need it inside the main line of code anymore. And so now we have timber demo application will use the release tree and the timber demo application will use the debug tree. So let's go back to debug. Now at this point in time, we look at Android manifest, the timber demo application. I'm in the debug build variant. I hit control command B on Mac OS X and it takes me to the debug. You can see your debug timber demo application. If I change the release to release build variant, go back to Android manifest, hit command B to go to definition again. You'll see now, since I've selected the release build variant, as you can see up here, the folder structure and hit command B, we are now in the release timber demo application. So now when we build our application, two different code paths will be executed. One for the demo, uh, excuse me, the debug version will execute this timber plant. We'll get all the logging goodness that we're used to in development. But when we do release now, the release path will be used and we will use the release tree, which if you remember from before, the same code, we'll now use the release version, which only logs warnings, errors, and WTF statements. Furthermore, if you really want to get fancy, you can start putting all of your crash logging inside of here. So perhaps maybe you need to set up crash analytics like this or fabric dot initialize or whatever the, the call is now, but this is a shorthand, which is crashlytics.start. And you can start using your, your, your crash framework only in a release environment. You don't have to put these debug statements all over your code. I hope that helps. Until next time.